is March 7th. It is Wednesday morning. That is the cigarette. I should have not done that. But sometimes you can see the orbs fly through the cigarettes and it looks crazy cool. You get different color smoke. Blue and gold and found that out the other night. Nonetheless, I haven't smoked in like six hours. I've been moving nonstop and cleaning and fixing and makeup and hair and stuff and just trying to not be so scattered because we are ascending and going through a shift and retrograde is coming and I'm in a one year, I don't know, I'm just, and, and then I get the migraines and the vertigo and the constant nausea. It's been a weird few days for me. So, do you see that? I've never used the YouTube app to record, so I am giving it a go. It's 3.30 in the morning. No, I've not gone to sleep yet. I went to sleep at 8.15, got up at 12.22, and just started moving. Had a, you know, chant, shower, clean, this, that, other, go to the doctor. Got all pretty for the doctor. I love her, my therapist. She's an amazing lady. Watch, baby. You're not going under the chair, honey. She likes to do that. And then uh, me, Leanne, probably my daughter. That was, I always drop something. Always. I forget that things were on my lap. I think the kid down the hall, I can feel him. My daughter can feel him. I know he's not feeling right. And I wrote to him, and he just sent me a rainbow back. So I know he's not okay. His birthday's coming up. He's going into a seven. He's very young. And uh, this is all new for him. Promise to guide him and help him. I hope he uh, takes me up on my offer. Anyway, and he's a past life member of mine. That's all I know. He's gold. He's got gold hands. I see him on a chariot. He's like Atlas with columns around him. And I don't know what life or how I know him. I just see him. Anyway, I've not filmed videos today. Cats are going a little batty. Um, the back pain today is absolutely horrendous, and I don't know why. I don't think it's just my back and just the way I sleep. I could prop myself up pretty good. I'm working on getting a mattress, but uh, the pain today, holy crap. And don't you think I got my dates wrong with my meds, and we're getting 18 inches, and there'll be no delivery tomorrow. It'll have to wait till Thursday. So that's the way it goes. Life is ironic. So I'm filming. Let's see what we can see. Where are you, baby boy? My kitty is just... Hey, what's up, handsome? Mommy's back hurts. You gonna snuggle mama? Hmm? You gonna snuggle me, my handsome angel? Yes, you are. He's always on the lookout, but I gotta tell you, lately... Chicken leg. Fierce. Went into that door. Either wanted to cheat, get not let them in, or chase them out. But as you can see for yourself in that one particular video the other morning when I was trying so hard to sleep, that uh, my chicken leg, my grand white cat, was adamant about getting those orbs and chasing them down the hall and never growled, never hissed, never puffed his chest or his tail, neither did this one. They just play, and then chicken leg passes out on his back, and he, he's heavy, he's on a diet, and he plays with them on his back. This one goes after him with his tail down. He is like a natural predator. And he sleeps in my head right here when I sleep here. And uh, or between my legs or on my feet. And chicken leg sleeps either. They take turns at who's at the head and who's at the feet. But I'm always covered. And sometimes I go to the bathroom. They scream and cry and scratch. And I have to let him in the bathroom. And one sits at my feet and one sits in the doorway. When normally they come in, one goes in the bathtub and one licks the water out of the sink. So you know something's going on when they do that. I, that's why I love cats. They're magical. They're mystical. They're faithful. I swear they're, they're, they're not pets. They're not animals. I think at one point we were able to talk to them. I, I remember a past life. And I walked down a golden staircase, and I swear it was under a pyramid. And uh, under this dark where you would think it would be desert and sand, it was hot and moist like the jungle. And I had like a headdress on and a, just, you know, strip for a skirt and all these jewelry things up and down, you know, my arms. And I was like a queen or a princess. And walking the staircase with me were two gigantic lions, you know, full manes. And there were black panthers and elephants. And they all bowed to me. And we could speak. And I was in this lush tropical environment with big, leafy, wet. It was like a world within a world under a pyramid. And I've always had a black cat or a cat that looks like a lion. 
And um, my cats, if they pass away, they come back. I've always had a cat thing. I, I can't, I don't have enough time to tell you the, story, the cat stories. That should be another video or another blog, Jones Cat Stories. Anyway, as you can see, we were busy. Hi, Angel Face, you can stay with Mama? Yeah. Yes, you are, my precious. I'm freezing. It should be snow. It should be snowing now. We're supposed to get a blizzard. 18 to 24 inches. Last one. I, I hope. Oh, yeah. It has begun, my friends. Yeah, I gotta say, though. Not really great for uh, arthritis or sickness. But it sure is pretty. I gotta say, I do appreciate the beauty of it. Look at that. Hi, Angel Face, what you seeing? What's happening out there, huh? When it gets really high, I'll let you eat the snow a little bit, but then you get a brain freeze. I don't think... What was that flashing purple light? Are there cops out there? Or was that my... Okay, I'm gonna... What is that? That's gotta be my phone, right? What the hell is that? Oh, there's a light on the house from somewhere. That's my phone. See that blue light? Ah, uh, it's something in, in the dentist's office. See, I got a question. I have to have answers. Because I'm not going to go look at that orb and it's a freaking neon light at the dentist's office. No. It's not me. It's, it's the dentist. Anyway, it's beautiful out. I love that. Winter Wonderland. These are... It's freaking freezing. And these bricks are like ice. And my bedroom is at least 15 degrees colder. Ow. I got a heater on in there. Every room, every wall, I'm sorry, is brick. And if you stand in front of the brick, you can feel the breeze come in. It sucks. But if you have hot flashes all the time, it's really good. I'm going to clean this room. I swear to God, I'm going to clean this room. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Why? Because I'll be snowed in. But when it looks shitty like this, I know where everything is. Once I clean and put away, I won't find shit. These bricks, ice, ice. I wonder if you could see my breath if I do this. Hi, Angel Face. I don't know how to turn the camera around, but it, take my word for it, it's freaking freezing in here. I got a heater on. Um, the carpet is freezing cold. I don't even know how the cat lays on the floor. So I have all this crap up against it to stop the wind from coming in. Isn't that crazy? Having said that, I love my loft. I just wish I didn't have to hear what was outside. It's so noisy, and I wish I didn't have to hear them upstairs. So, you know, that's how that is. Come on, angel face. Come on, my love. Mommy's gonna go ice her bones. No, not there, sugar lump. Come. Mommy's achy today. We're gonna find a meditation video on how to reverse disease. Come, lover. We're all gonna be healthy together forever. Energetically speaking, I'm sh not in these bodies. Very hard to be in a 3D body and stay grounded and ascend and be an empathic, intuitive, who can hear, who can speak. I don't smell color. I can hear it. I can hear color. I can feel numbers, colors, shapes, rocks, trees, energy. I could feel silver. I found that out when I lived in Vegas. I could walk past any phone booth, any garbage pile, anywhere. And if somebody dropped coins, I could feel them. And I was right every time. That was kind of cool. One time I found six bucks in a bunch of pay phones. Another time I was walking past an apartment complex. Max goes, what the hell are you doing? I said, I'm going to find their laundry room. There's money in there. And I moved the garbage I wore, and I found a bunch of money. Yeah, I could feel silver. Um, not really good at winning a whole bunch, but I don't gamble. Um, I, like, I guess I like to play it safe, you know? Because it's too easy to make one mistake and lose it all. And my ex never did anything to keep us secure. So it was all on me. And I had no mom and no dad. and So... Uh, that's why I guess I'm a control freak, and I always have to have uh, proof, which is why I video, and I read, and I study, and then I want people to look and analyze, and you tell me if what I'm seeing is real, but now I'm seeing it without the camera, so I know it's real. Um, and the other stuff in my life, I'm always validated. Not that I question Jesus or Buddha or angels, because I know they're real. Um, I question myself. How do I just know this? That can't be right. That can't be the truth. My psychic just knowings. But the stuff that would happen when I thought I was wake, awake and would live a day, and then bam, I'm in my bed, and the day starts just the way the day that I had just completed, 
I would live a future day and then wake up. It's like Groundhog Day. I saved my mother's best friend's life. Told told her she was going to call. She was sick. My mother was up and ready. We took her to a hospital they'd never been to. I was 12 years old. I gave them directions. I was like, I, it was really powerful when I was a kid. And then it would just change year to year to year to year. Synesthesia, I guess I could always hear frequency and energy. And I could always know who was in a car or whose TV was on. But it... it multiplies exponentially. And then I moved to Vegas and it, this synesthesia just blew up tenfold in the channeling and something about the desert. And then not so much with my husband, but the minute I said, get out, it's like the light of God shone in my apartment, my life. I, people came over the house all the time. I was so isolated and it was so dark and negative, but I got to the point where the longer I stay with you, the more I hate me. And that's what gave me the strength to end it. Plus, it wasn't fair to my daughter what he was doing, and she was 13 years old, and, you know, she's 3.7 GPA, Asperger's, brilliant, brilliant. She she could create her own dictionary, and she knew what was going on. Kids aren't dumb. They know it's six, let alone 13. And it was, thank God, the best day of my life. I feel like I got my full freedom. So, and that was all, uh, I waited 17 years for that because I wanted my daughter to have a father and a mother and a full life and vacations and a house and two cars that ran at the same time. Never happened. So I, I, yeah, I was done. I'm still, I still have, to, and then I repaired my credit. We went bankrupt. I fixed everything. Got little $300 credit cards. You got like 10 of them in my name, maxed them out. Got three different phone uh contracts and, and then didn't pay them. All that shit's in my name. The hell I'm going to... And was, then I filed for divorce. He was nowhere to be found. Now the divorce I filed for in Illinois in 2011, he wants me to follow through on that. Bite my ass. If you're working, I'm disabled. He's kind of disabled too. He's got titanium hips now. Karma's a bitch. But uh, she had jumped on the chance when I said, here are the papers. He was nowhere to be found. And the sheriff said, well, 30 days we tried... And then we found out he was in Indiana, so the sheriff saw us go to Indiana. They, it's just cold, freaking cold, really? And I did all that myself. I walked in, in 20 below to the library typing up my divorce document. Couldn't even give it to him. Now he wants it. He's angry, and he wrote nasty stuff on my Facebook wall and called me a whore. He just lied to his mother. He said I was a cheater, so he finally started cheating on me. When last year he said he never cheated on me. Doesn't he remember? This is why I say don't lie. Because you'll forget one day what you said, but the person you're talking to won't. Like his mother, she don't forget. And she told me what he said, and I said, don't you remember that he told you that I was a cheater and he never cheated? Now he's telling you that he did? Come on, hello. I know it's your son, and he comes first for eternity, but a mother also has to see the truth of what is. What are you looking at? So where's chicken like? So lies hurt. They hurt. They they can hurt worse than being punched in the face, and it's the kind of pain that some people live three lifetimes to try to karmically get over. So I'm not going to put that on another person. I was never a liar, and I broke up with my husband through my boy. I left him in Vegas. I gave birth, left him, took my kid, got on the plane, went to New York. Yeah, I was sick. I mean, I was so sick. I don't know how I didn't die giving birth. I was in the hospital seven days. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Nobody can come up with Graves' disease. Give me a break. I was so sick. But I was in the best shape of my life. Six-pack, rocking hard body. I was dancing six nights a week in Vegas, eight to 12 hours a night. Best shape of my life. I popped that baby out in five pushes. I didn't have a car. I walked everywhere. I danced up until three months of pregnancy. Had her, stomach went right back down, not one stretch mark. It, it, everything is timing, and the universe is always right. So you follow what you feel. Don't ever deny you, your gut. I choose what's in my gut over my head and my heart, because the, my gut is God. What I hear in my ears is God. What I know, third eye, crown chakra, what if that's God. That's angels, that's intuition, that's higher self, that's masters, that's guides. No more denying here, let me tell you that. I've always done readings. I've always been told you should charge, you should set up dates, and I never felt it was right to take money, like Sylvia Brown, 500 an hour. You've got a gift. You're here to enlighten the world or save lives or find children that are kidnapped. Why are you going to charge $500 an hour because you wrote a book and you're... It's not right. 
make a living, yes, but... Yeah, and, and you gotta wait two years for an appointment. And her son now is doing that. She passed away. She reminds me of my mom a lot. I never took money because, you know, you, know, you want to buy my kid a t-shirt or spend $20 on groceries? We're good, but really, I bleed for nothing. I just go up to people and tell them, providing my intuition says that I can't approach them. What I know. And um, it's stronger and stronger. I hear words in my head. I get pictures. And uh, best friend Patrice from since I'm eight, I did a reading for her daughters. And then my daughter stepped up and came in with her visions. My daughter is getting her these powers and in synchronicity. She's in denial. She denies the orbs are not real. She says it's dust. She's so empathic. And she's so gifted. She denies it. She denies her gifts. I guess it skips a generation. Her daughter will accept it. Anyway, my point is, I uh, quite often think about charging, but I don't want to do that. I want to inspire. I want to motivate. I want to help the adopted children. I want to help people recover from disease, from abuse, from neglect, from being beaten. This is crazy. Look at you are beautiful. I wonder if any of that's dust. See, I'm still not like 100% satisfied. That Some of it is orbs, but some of that is dust. I can see the dust. If I bet you this chair is dusty, let's see. I need validation all the time, right? And I just said I don't question anymore. But these are for the people watching. They say, oh, that can't be. Yes, 90% of these are vitamins. I swear to God. Everything changed since I had the strokes. My body hates medicine. It rejects it. I get violently ill. Never used to be, but that's a good thing. I'll live longer, right? Let's just see. Neighbor gave me this chair. I keep it covered. It needs a professional, like, cover made for it. I want fuchsia and teal. I want and purple in here on all the furniture. Okay, let's see what's dust and what's orbs. I don't even know how to tell. I will do freeze frames, still shots, and we should be able to see. Dust have beautiful, co uh, I mean, orbs have colors, and they photobomb. But some of this has got to be dust, too. It's got to be. But not all of it. And that wasn't dust coming out of the bathroom that day. What? Oh, are you eating your nippy nap, baby? You want to go in your box? Yeah. Here, yeah, Mama. You have two boxes, Angel Face. Look. Here you go. And then you have it. I bet you're seeing dust now, huh? That, I guarantee you, is dust. What just flew past my face and those white things? Not dust. Very hard to tell the difference. Some of this is dust. Now, again, let's shake me out. I won't flash any boobies, I promise. Maybe we'll do it from the bottom. Then we won't flash anything. I'm not dusty, and this stuff came out of the washer like an hour ago. I want a professional. Look at that. You going to tell me that's dust? I want a professional to analyze this and do it in the dark, with, like on that TV show, Ghost Hunters, where they do night vision so that they could see the orbs and all that. I could see them all the time. No. But maybe that's for the audience at home watching. Eat your nip, Mama. You go get some happy time for you. Yeah, baby. And then you're really going to go chase them, aren't you? Yeah, I give the cats tons of nip, and then I let them go orb chasing. It's funny. And then they get their exercise. Okay, I'm almost done. This video is 18 minutes already. I can't stop talking. I'm so tired. I guess I'm trying to knock myself out. And I'm Italian, and I'm from New York. You want me to shut up? Tie up my hands. Okay. This, we opened this door, and that's where I saw the darkness. And it went straight up. So then Leanne came in. She goes, oh, I shut the door. She shut it. But I wasn't worried about shutting it because I saw it go straight up. The exact birds that I have, and it was dark gray, not quite black. And it was like we didn't exist. I'm seeing purple energy right now. And, um... Leanne grabbed the sage. I sage your chakras, our aura, me, the cats, the bed, the door again. And I was going to go out and film to see if they're on me in the hallway or in another place. Because I can hear them as I approach the building. So why can't I hear them down the hallway? But I don't want to pick up some someone's bad mojo. Maybe I should walk out in the hall with incense. But then I'll set the alarms off. What? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. I'm very, very curious about that, though. Maybe I'll wait until the priest gets here Monday and then do it. Because everything will be blessed. Good idea, Joan. 
Wow, he's running for it. I was right. I know. All right, this is 20 minutes long. I'm going to stop. I'm going to post. I'm going to re-record. I wish everybody peace, love, light, and safety in this wicked storm if you're going to be getting it too. Hunker down. Stay in. Help people who need help via phone call or a walk in the snow or shoveling, whatever. It will come back to you, I promise. Karma is good. See, I'm seeing stuff with my eyes right there. I know, honey. See? And do you think the cat would cry for dust? I'm going to stop and re-record. Be love, be light. Thank you for watching. Share and be kind. Comment too.